Hey, what's up everybody? This is my dive the other day. I took some of my friends and their family out to Honolulu Bay and I brought my three prong because now with the new regulations you can't use a spear gun there. Uh, this is my first drop and I'm just cruising. I wasn't really planning on taking a shot. There's a King Kole there, small Moano. Not as much fish as I'm used to seeing and I'm really not used to diving in areas with uh, lots of sand. Uh, this is actually my second time out with a three prong. The first time I shot a king kole and a regular kole but uh, the video didn't come out because what happened was my GoPro got shifted to um, uh, time lapse while I was in the water and that's because uh, when I was diving and I pressed the button, it wasn't beeping for some reason. So I tried to check it while I was in the water and I must have hit it from video to time lapse. And I couldn't really see because uh, I didn't have my glasses and I wasn't about to swim in. So this is my second time out with a three prong. So this is my second drop. I'm under this ledge. Uh, just kind of cruising and there's just basically king coles around. I wasn't planning on uh, shooting them. I was looking for something else, see what was com what would come in. Didn't see much and then look right there and Ala'ihi pops out. It was kind of a nice um, big one. And I tried to look in and it was back in that hole and I could kind of see it and I just thought, nah, leave it alone because uh, I'm really horrible with a three prong so I just didn't want to wound it. So on my other dive the other week, uh, I was pretty lucky. I, I took three shots and um, landed two fish and I got all the fish that uh, I aimed at which was, was pretty cool. Check this out. As I was swimming along, there's this uh, white tip shark. You can barely see him. So I tried to dive down to, uh, you know, get some footage of him. But of course, I scared him away. And he was gone. So I was thinking, oh, hopefully he'll come back. So I was just going to camp out over here. And then these three kole that just were hanging out while I was waiting. So I was just grabbing on the side, you know, hoping the shark would come back and I get some some more footage. I'm just kind of looking around. It's really shallow here, which is uh, kind of suits me. Then I thought, oh, let's try let's try shoot one. So I kind of spooked them there. I lined up and miss. So my first miss of the day. Like I said three prong is not my thing I haven't used the three prong in like 30 years so this is my second time out so just keep practicing so Honomolino has a, a lot of black sand and in the coral heads are these channels of black sand so I dove down to the bottom keep looking under the ledges trying to look for some cover everything just kind of just I spooked pretty much every time I hit the sand I saw some goats out in the distance so I tried to dust a little bit to see if they would come in but nothing was moving and there was there was this one lone nai nai feeding off this one little rock in the sand so I approached it took the shot thought I got it I hit it high and I lost it and it went under that ledge and that's what I was really worried about um, three prong. It's like, you know, like I said in my other video, you know, even when you watch the good guys three prong, and I'm not one of the good guys, is uh, they lose fish. And I just hate that, you know, wounding the fish and losing it. So here I'm breathing up. Uh, I saw it go under that ledge with the white coral on, on the top. So. I dove down and I could not find it. I was looking under, I didn't see anything there, so I don't know where it went. Nothing there. It must have it must be a crack and it went way in the back because I did not see it come out. 
So unfortunately, I wounded that fish and probably that guy is not going to survive. And I hate when I do that. So second miss of the day. So now I'm swimming along and I keep diving under these ledges. Try to see what's under there. So this is getting uh, kind of towards the end of my dive. So I dive down. And, you know, it's kind of not great vis. And what do I see? The shark. The white tip is just lying there sleeping. So I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I've never seen the shark just lie there. Especially, you know, I thought they only do that at night. But it's in the day. I guess it, it was bright and sunny. Maybe he was even getting hot because it was shallow. So he's in the shade just chilling out. And it kind of spooked him. And he just swims away. They're so beautiful. He didn't want anything to do with me. Didn't even want to be on camera. So, I thought, oh well. I'm just going to swim in. So as I'm swimming in, I'm trying to come in in another area. And there are a bunch of fish in the shallows. So, this is like only a couple feet deep. And I like never die I mean I dive shallow but I never dive this shallow and they're just kind of hanging out there so I thought oh I'll try to pick up something for dinner so I was trying to get the nai nai but this king kole just came there so I got him bad shot but I got him and I didn't lose him uh, but what I hate about it is the three prong just tears up the meat so you know it's not as easy to fillet so I wasted a little bit of meat. So I'm not really happy about that. I'm thinking of filing off the barbs off that three prong, but well, that was my second three prong dive in like over 30 years. I was lucky I got one fish. I swam right in after this, and my friends had a good time out at Honomolino. It's a beautiful place. It's not the best fishing grounds, but it's still pretty awesome. Thanks for watching and aloha.